how are you? It's Teacher Lina. So today I got a request on my Dance Dance Dancer anime trailer reaction. So I did a reaction to Dance Dance Dancer's trailer. So again, it's a an anime about a male dancer or a male dancer wanting to become a ballet dancer. And I like this because it's been a while since there's like a really good ballet drama around and I love that this one revolves around a male dancer and not just a female one because there's a lot of talk about male dancers and stereotypes. So this one's pretty cool. Um, there was a mention by Giuliano Venturo Gonzalez. He said, if it would be cool if I can make a reaction to the anime if I haven't watched it yet and make comments about each episode because he saw someone like volley a volleyball coach doing this for Haikyuu. I mean, I love it. I'm gonna try it out per episode. I haven't watched anime. I don't have a lot of time since I make most of my lesson plans during the day. But since I do have a little bit of time to do some reviews um, during my lunch break, I'm going to give you guys a review video per episode. And for the dancing scenes, maybe I can have my comments on them so I don't exactly know which things are in which episode but there are notes on them like um the episodes on the uh how do you call this on the YouTube things so okay I found this one and this video and we're going to do a little bit of a reaction to episode two it says let's dance together and I think there's another one under episode 2 but there aren't much dancing scenes yet around the earlier episodes so I'll be doing some on maybe 2 and 3 both because there is a bully section of the ballet boys so without any delay we're going to start with the first one and it says it's a let's dance together for a scene <laughs> So here in this scene, you're hearing the Black Swan music, so I guess there's a little bit of a creepy element to it. I don't know, we'll see. Let's continue. I love the ballet fingers though. Is he trying to lift her? Okay, I don't know what that was about. Definitely just an in-between scene. But when you lift a girl, ideally it's supposed to be... It depends on where the waist of the girl is, if we're gonna analyze it correctly. But it's not actually just the boy doing the lifting. So obviously in this case, he could not lift the girl very well because there was an extra... Um, help from the girl. Um, there are some lifts that are deadlifts, but there are a lot of lifts also that involve the girl really pulling up from their core and that involves also their back. And so, wait, if we'll look at it technically, I guess he wouldn't have been able to because she was just standing up like this. And there was no way he would have lifted her. Let's look at more things. There was one I saw on, I think, episode three was it and it was about um Junpei crying and I think I reviewed this on the trailer already so okay. so Junpei is crying Oh, this is the same as the trailer reaction we did also. <laughs> but this is the alley variation from Le Corsair. And I love how they really show how the toes and the feet can move. This anime is superb because they get the lines so well, the demi points so well. And if I'll go into more depth, like here, you could even see how the arms pull up the back and the release. It's, it's 
from Ali Le Corsair. And the lightness of the everything is so good. This is such a difficult variation too. Okay, so I guess this does have a relation to this guy Junpei. Yeah, variations are really exhausting. He did so well though. I mean, really good. Anyway, I'll stop it here. So I guess that's it for episode 2 and 3. I definitely go through all the episodes, but I don't know if you guys could see even the weight or the way he would jump off. The takeoff was so good because of the upper body being so square. And the way he prepared and took off for that jump was really nice. <laughs> I mean, it's an anime, but it's pretty cool that they're able to even display this type of technicalities in the ballet. And I am amazed at the footwork on the floor. They were able to show that in the portion before he was, or he did his jump. They zoomed into the feet, which is something we dancers love. And why they zoom into the feet is to show that nice um, way that you prepare for a jump and that was really good. I mean, they were even talking about how he would spin on and on but it was amazing because his leg was so coordinated and when you're doing a lot of Alice Kwan turns, you need a lot of coordinations or any turns come with a lot of coordinations and head. So this anime depicts that so well which is another reason why I think you'd love it. I'm, ass I'm assuming right now that Junpei wants to also dance and so he was also crying. He might be the uh, main character in this, I have a feeling, um, because I do see some videos lately that it says like Junpei and Natsuki dance together, so we can do a review on that on the next one. So I'll go through each episode and try to look through all the dancing videos that you might want me to review since a lot of people are asking me for technical reviews, which I think would be cool because you would be able to understand. So this variation specifically is about Ali and Ali is, um, he uh, crashed, wait, sorry, no, Le Corsair, it's about these pirates, they crashed onto shore and then they do some variations, um, and Conrad and Medora are the main leads but Ali is like the one assisting Conrad so he's just like one of those people helping out Conrad so he's like he's not a second lead he's just there he's like the helper <laughs> the sidekick but the really cool one because I feel like his variation is a lot funner than Conrad's variation if you watch a lot of it you should you guys should check it out, the Ali Variations, one of the more famous ones also done in competitions um, because of the technical aspects and also the coordination involved in it. The ending is pretty intense too. It ends with your, um, what do you call this, menage around or menage straight and then it ends back into the air, into the floor, which requires so much control and coordination and just like body control. So to guys, I feel like they love this variation also. It's not one of those princely types, so you don't exactly have to be all like this. It's more of a, it's a real showstopper. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little review. Um, if you ever want more of this, let me know because the last one I posted a month ago did quite well and I am looking into doing more technical reviews like this as a ballet teacher. Again, this is Teacher Lina. I do hope that you enjoyed. Let us know what else you'd love to hear on this channel and we'll see you next time.